can you cook? You got the skills, you got the look. Believe in yourself, fight on the rich and life. Fight on the rich and life. Wanna be a star? Hello viewers and a very warm welcome to you once again. This is a Fry Tall and Rich in Lies cooking reality show. This is week 10, can you believe? 10 weeks already. And how many have we evicted? Sadly, four have already left. Do you recall what happened last week? The teams had to cook a dish to go with a very fine white wine. Well, this show, as we promised from the beginning, promises to invest a hundred thousand Ghana CDs in the winner. So far, it hasn't been easy at all. I'm sure you've been noticing how grueling the tasks have been from one week to the other. Let's just have a recap of what happened last week. Stay tuned. Today, boardroom being sliced off. Not a good feeling, but it's cool. It's a competition. One has to go. At least I'm not the first person to move out. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's cool, but it hurt me. People are disappointed, but I told them that this is not the, um, the end. I'm still in my 20s, I'm young. And there's more tasks ahead of me. I'll reach my goal, my ambition, to be the best renowned chef in the whole wide world be achieved. I tell my people that they should watch out for me. They should watch out for Chef Lamy. And I'll never put it. Thank you. Being a group leader today, I don't think I'm ready for it. Because with the experiences I saw the other team leaders go through, I'm not ready for it today. But if I don't have any choice, I will take up the mantle and together we would work at it. Yellow, you are still through. Welcome back. Did you see that? The team that the judges tipped didn't actually top this competition. We have Georgina for the second or third time, Francis, and Ganyu up for eviction once again. Well, I hope um, you guys vote to keep them in, but let's just go back and see who was finally sliced out of this competition. The contestant with a heavy heart, filled with fear, excitement and hope, await the call to meet the judges. Their bags are packed, as they wonder which of them is going home today. Contestant will be heading out of the Frightful and Rich in Lives competition today. So don't forget your onions, but most importantly, choosing the right oil makes all the difference. That is why I always choose Frito. Mm. So what's the story behind Frito? At Wilma, where Frito is made, each and every worker wakes up with you in mind. Really? And for the millions of other homes too. There, the experts ensure every bottle of Frito is rich with great tastes that creates memories to last their lifetime. That is why I add required amount of Frito to taste. Fritol is the cholesterol-free oil fortified with vitamin A. Now I know why you cook with Fritol. Yes, and it's the choice of cooking oil in millions of other homes. Yes, Dad. Enjoy great tasting meals with Fritol, the cholesterol-free cooking oil fortified with vitamin A. Fritol, love your food, love your life. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. It's been a long while. 
See, I have some oil. I'm sure you're going to like it. Eh? Which oil have you bought? Our very own Frital cooking oil. Uh -huh. Now they have it in sachet soup. It is a naturally mm. cholesterol-free vegetable oil, very affordable mm. and fortified with vitamin A. Hey, hey. fried or sachet, such a cutie. Not oh. only that, it is hygienic, mm -hmm. safe and trusted. Mm. Our very own fried oil. You better start selling fried or sachet if you still want me as a customer. Ah, customer, pa. Very soon, you will see me live and colored with fried or sachet. Eh? You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere, Kra. Cook conveniently with Frito Cooking Oil Sachet. Available in different sizes. Frito Cooking Oil. Love your food, love your life. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. To the boardroom. Okay, you should hear. Once you're here, I believe you know why you're here. But before we give our judgment, ultimately, my colleague judges will want to have a word with you. Ah. Um, observing you over the last few weeks, we've seen the development in you leadership skills, the mixing of different ingredients, making all the things that you've done. It's just a shame that one of you has to be sliced out today. I'm actually sad, but um, as usual, we hope that you take it as a learning experience and use all the things that you've learned here in your future endeavors. Alisa? Well, this is my, my least favorite part of the experience because mm -hmm. I've, I've grown very attached to each of you, but unfortunately one of you will have to go. And at this stage of the competition, it's always going to be different, difficult because the competition is very, very tough now. And we have to choose one over another. So small mistakes like throwing away the potatoes, overcooking the chicken, not running the team in a cohesive manner can lead to being in this unfortunate position. So don't take this too hard. Learn the lessons, move forward in life. And there's certainly going to be success at the end of the road for each of you. Thank you. Well, Georgina. Yeah, sure. You led your team well. You kept the focus directing. You were still working with all the concentration and we thought that was good. Francis, you're a good team player. You multitask very well. I would think that is a good trait you have to keep. And Ganil, you work without showing the stress. A rare trait for a chef, which is positive. You show traits of a promising hot kitchen chef because of the way you do your pan grilling and the basting intermittently. We think that was very good. But together, the group you started well in the last task. Your dish was very promising. The judges were rooting for your dish over the other. And then your chicken breast. We don't know what happened. Got overcooked. You discarded the sauce that would have complemented your chicken breast nicely. And then you prepared a good quantity of potato, but you failed to serve it on the plate. And for these reasons, you are here. And the judges made our decisions on these reasons. The viewers have gotten the opportunity to watch you. And they have also voted. And I have with me the votes from the viewers. Clearly, they have said what they want to say with their votes. And so, we have put our marks, the viewers' votes together. Our marks, which was a tie? Yes. We had one of you leading and two of you who were tying up. 
but the viewers have broken the font easily. Melissa made a statement that it is difficult to have one of you leave because you all three have traits that we wish to hold and keep in the kitchen. But where we've got in the competition, one of you will have to go. Does any of you have something to say to us before we give a final judgment? Any of you have something? Ganil, you have something to say? Um, what I would say is that um, anything that happens right now is a uh, thing. So I think um, anything is welcome. Now, it is not wish. a team faith, it's an individual faith. So anything that happens is your faith and not our faith, right? Yes. Please. Great. And Georgina? No, Chef. You don't have anything to say? No, please. And Francis? Um, I'd like to say it was a nice experience being here. And each day, day out, I've really learned a lot being in this competition. And I uh, believe everything in the house of God and you leave everything in the hands of God and accept everything that happens. Georgina doesn't have anything to say and Ganyu says it is his faith. Okay. So, one of you gets sliced out of the frightful enriching lives competition. One of you have decided to give away a whole thing, 100,000 Ghana CD away. But whatever it is, we have to continue with the show. Ganyu, you say so you take the blame. Georgina, you don't have anything to say. And Francis, it is God. Wow. Well, the judges have made our decision. There was one clear leader. There were two who were tying up. But when we got the votes, like it comes in always, there was a clear cut and the tie has been broken. And so putting it together, we have two who have sailed through successfully to the next stage of the frightful, the reaching lives. And one person has decided that 100,000 Ghana CD has to be thrown into the trash can. And that is exactly what that person has chosen. Daniel? Francis? Georgina? One of you have come to the end of your stay in this competition. And The person is Francis. You have been sliced. Thank you, too. We are grateful for your time with us and we wish you well. You are promising and you keep that up. Thank you, Chef. Great. Ooh. That was so, 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 so not cool. But thanks to all who voted for me, I made it through. And I'd want to say thank you to everyone from my Market Women Association to everyone everyone who voted for me. I say thank you very much and God replenish every pocket. And it's not over yet, but I'm going to give out my best so I don't come up for eviction. Then we can put all on the very last show. 
Thank you. God bless you. Congratulations, Georgina and Ganyu. Thank you, Chef. You are free to go. I thank Almighty Allah for this favor once again. I've been in this position before, but always when we call on him, he's always there for us. So I thank him so much. And I thank you, my family, my loved ones and friends for um, being there for me. I think if you were not here, I wouldn't be here again. So I thank you guys so much. Um, we still have a game to play. It's not over yet. Until it is over, we are never tired. I'm not disappointed at all, and I'm so much happy. I'm happy because it wasn't my performance that brought me out of this competition, but rather it was the votes that I didn't get from my audience that um, took me out of this competition. I want to tell each and everyone who have supported me, who have voted for me all this while that I'm so much grateful for their vote. And then there is one thing that I would like to say, life has not ended at all. This is not the end of the Sozo world. This is not the end of Francis. People should expect much from me. And I believe that together, we are going to make it big. Thank you all for your support and thank you all for the love and everything. God, we should bless you all. Hey, customer. It's been a long while. See, I have some oil. I'm sure you're going to like it. Eh? Which oil have you bought? Our very own Frito cooking oil. Uh -huh. Now they have it in sachets too. It is a naturally mm. cholesterol-free vegetable oil, very affordable mm. and fortified with vitamin A. Hey, fried or sachet, such a cutie. Not what? only that, it is hygienic, mm -hmm. safe and trusted. Mm. Our very own fried oil. You better start selling fried or sachet if you still want me as a customer. Oh, customer, pa. Very soon, you will see me live and colored with fried or sachet. Eh? You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere, Kra. Cook conveniently with Frito Cooking Oil Sachet. Available in different sizes. Frito Cooking Oil. Love your food, love your life. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Welcome to Ghana's premier city center beach resort, La Palm Royal Beach Hotel. Hugging the shores of the Atlantic, La Palm is located inside 30 acres of lush lawns and landscape gardens. From the moment you step through our doors, you are sure to be inspired by the unique design and facilities of La Palm Royal Beach Hotel. La Palm Royal Beach Hotel exceeds your expectations with a perfect medley of great service and intriguing facilities with a unique Ghanaian touch. We look forward to your next visit. La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, uniquely golden, traditionally Ghanaian. Welcome back. How sad Francis Dauphignon sliced out of the competition, the CEO of Sozo Foods. I mean, I'm sure this gentleman will make it. Well, I, I hope you guys keep voting because, um, as we said, it's not just about what the judges think, but your, your votes also carry them through from one competition to the other. Well, today's episode happens to be one where the contestants are to cook for children in the Montessori. Can you believe children between the ages of one and five? So our contestants are to cook something healthy, something nutritious, and something that the, the, the kids would love. Let's just go and see them in action in the kitchen. Stay tuned. I'm excited about the tax because I have kids that fall within the age brackets and knowing what my kids like and Ganyun having kids too. 
together we are going to give them chicken burger with fries and peanut butter sauce. So Chef Joe has put in us in two teams. I'm in Team Yellow and my team members are George and Albert and I'm the team leader for Team Yellow. I finally got the chance to become a team leader, even though there's only one person in my team. But that wouldn't stop us from becoming victorious in this task. I've worked with Georgina several times. Now I have an idea how she works and she knows how I work. And together we are going to make sure that we don't go to eviction again. That's nice. Are you viewers i hope the children in the school actually like the food because there's so much effort going into it well in the studio with me once again is our lead judge the gentleman who i'm sure is adding himself a name as the meanest chef but all he's doing is to is making sure that our chefs can compete at the highest level anywhere internationally don't you agree well, Chef, you're welcome Thank once you. again. Thank you very much. I know you've been getting a lot too. of, you know, uh, comments I on tell social you. media. I tell you. You yeah. know. Um, I, I guess people are now, well, they still are saying that he's mean. Why yeah. is he being so rigid? Yeah. Some of the contestants, they come into the show before we kick start. They're telling you their friends are saying, why is that judge mean like that? They said, no, no, you get to interact with him before you get to know But Well... It's, it's part of it. If you want to do something good, you don't you don't expect everybody to like you, but the end result will prove that. But, but I, I have had <laughs> a lot of positive comments. Thank you. Thank about you. how 
they like the way you are strict and mm. you do not compromise mm. and mm. you make sure that they are doing the right thing. So for me, it's it's positive. Thank you. It's all Thank positive. You. I'm not worried though. I'm not worried though by the negative comments. Yeah. Yeah. I think for where I've come from to where I am now, I have gotten to know that it is, it is the comments do not border. Once I have an intention, I have a goal I want to reach. Yeah. I always want to strive to get there. And yes. The comments do not, do not matter. Much. Yes, and even when you watch from the time they came in for the auditions, thank you. To what they are doing now, thank you. I think you're doing a wonderful <laughs> thank job. Thank you. I think thank you're doing you. a really great mm. job. Well, talking about uh, enriching lives, mm. we've had five mm. contestants evicted so far. Mm. So half mm. are gone. Yeah. We have the other half. Do you think that we still have the best contestant in the house? Yes, I should think so. In that, um, Fightful Enriching Lives is unique in its presentation. Mm -hmm. In that, we look at, you look at the tax that we give our contestants week after week. Yes. We don't just ask them to do one particular skill or one particular competence. I've always been saying that for someone to be a chef, you need certain competences and to be a catering or culinary business per se. Mm. We need other competencies yes. to complement the cooking competencies. Mm. And so the task that we're giving them is making sure that all these competencies are coming on board. Mm. So you just can't say, I know how to cook. Mm. So if you came in thinking, I can cook and that is enough, mm. then that is where. So when we say, do we still have good material? Mm. Yes, we, we have them because it's the competencies that we're looking for that those that are in so yeah. have displayed and that yeah. makes it possible for them to be in. So we still have yes. that material. And I there. believe that even though they all work in groups, mm. you still have the opportunity mm. to judge them mm. on individual basis, don't sure. you? Because as you said, it's not just about the cooking. Thank you. It's about how you work with people. It's about how you manage people. Yeah. You know, so I think this has been a, a, a cookery reality show of a difference mm. because mm. normally it's just produce what you can produce on the plate exactly. and you're judged exactly. based on that yes mm. they do the group work mm. but you see that we have two major areas where the marks are coming from from the judges yes. and again from the voters mm. from the judges and what we do is that we look at the individual mm -hmm. and give them marks mm -hmm. and then that is what we put together and that is what wins the group, one group over each other. Mm. And that the, the, we, have, we have points that we look out for, areas or skills or competencies mm. that we look out for. Yeah. And the better you display them, mm. the more you get money. Right. And that is why we could identify and say, this person is a multi-taxing person. Mm. This person is a good leader. Mm. This person is an organizer. Right. This person is a business right. oriented. Right. And this person knows how to target mm. and things like that. Yeah. Exactly. So, I think it's been wonderful. Very. It's been very, great. So I've been, I, I'm enjoying this show. I, we all are. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Also, just mm. moving forward to today's task. Mm. Do you think what we've seen in the kitchen so far do you think the children are going to like, you know, what is being produced? Again, because it's a competition, mm. we tried subtly to put in cautions. Mm. I found uh, some of them were taking the, okay, actually both groups took some of the cautions with them, but there are some of the cautions that they didn't see it. You know, when you're targeting, mm. And this, the, the, the group that this tax is mm. giving us is the most difficult to handle. The one to four year olds. Yes, very difficult. You can to imagine. Please. And they are they are the group of children who you can't you can't manage, yes. you can't make them act. One minute they like something, the next minute Thank they you. don't like it. Well, we we'll just go on a commercial <laughs> break. And when we come back, we'll be joining Chef and the contestants at the school to see how they like the dishes. Stay tuned. Hey, Kosoma, it's been a long while. See, I have some oil. I'm sure you're going to like it. Eh? Which oil have you bought? Our very own Frital cooking oil. Uh -huh. Now they have it in sachet soup. It is a naturally mm. cholesterol free vegetable oil, very affordable mm. and fortified with vitamin A. Mm. Hey! 
Fried all sachet. Such a cutie. Not only that, it is hygienic, mm -hmm. safe, and trusted. Mm. Our very own fried all. You better start selling fried all sachet if you still want me as a customer. Ah, customer, pa. Very soon, you will see me live and colored with fried all sachet. Eh? You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere, cra. Cook conveniently with Frital Cooking Oil Sachet. Available in different sizes. Frital Cooking Oil. Love your food, love your life. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. So don't forget your onions. But most importantly, choosing the right oil makes all the difference. That is why I always choose Frito. Mm. So what's the story behind Frito? At Wilma, where Frito is made, each and every worker wakes up with you in mind. Really? And for the millions of other homes too. There, the experts ensure every bottle of Frito is rich with great tastes that creates memories to last the lifetime. That is why I add required amount of Frito to taste. Fritol is the cholesterol-free oil fortified with vitamin A. Now I know why you cook with Fritol. Yes, and it's the choice of cooking oil in millions of other homes. Yes, Dad. Enjoy great tasting meals with Fritol, the cholesterol-free cooking oil fortified with vitamin A. Fritol, love your food, love your life. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Hello, this is the Fried Toy Enriching Lives Cooking Competition. My name is Nanama Ejiwa. Today, our remaining five contestants are being tasked to prepare food for toddlers. And this will be happening here at East Royal Montessori School. Let's go have a look at how each group will fare in this task. for this week is basically to leverage on the kids likeness for sweetness so we have a pancake which will help them to be able to eat because they like sweet things and then we realize that children also like chicken a lot so i'm making chicken tenders so that they're able to enjoy the dish without necessarily it being too new to them I believe the judges are going to evaluate us based on how we're able to impress with the children and to convince them to eat the lunch meal we've prepared for them. I believe again, as a team, we've put forward our best in terms of the flavor of the dish, the color, and even its nature. And so I believe the children will like it. And so we wouldn't go on the slicing board. Anna Marie, was your food nice? Was it nice? But why haven't you eaten it? Uh, you eat only that one. And the rest, you don't like it? Why don't you like it? Nice. 
one. You like that? The other one also nice. Okay. Rakiba, I see you didn't eat your food at all. Why? Because I don't like it. You don't like it? Which one don't you like? This. But do you like this? You don't like did you have you tried it? You tried it? And you didn't like it at all. Okay, I'll try and get you something different to taste, okay? chicken beggars between the chicken and the bread which one did you enjoy most this one the juice how about the chicken and the bread which one do you like the juice like the juice so not the chicken not the bread you didn't enjoy it was it nice it was nice but you didn't enjoy it okay your food between the chips and the bread which one did you enjoy which one was your favorite the vegetables. the vegetables was your favorites okay but I see you finish your chips was it nice as well did you want some more chips I see you are the first to finish your food. How was it? It's fine. It's fine. Is it just fine or it's yummy? It's yummy. You still have food in your mouth. Can you finish swallowing it and tell me whether it's really good? Is it as good as mommy's food? Yes. You are the first to finish your food. Everything is done. What did you enjoy particularly about the food? It was, it was nice. <clears throat> and it has something, it's called a sauce for me to eat it with. And it was very nice. That's why I finished it all. So you enjoyed the sauce the most. But you still have some sauce in there. Are you going to lick it by itself or you need some more chicken to add up? No, I'm full, so I'll leave it. Thank you. Chefs, congratulations for how far you've come in this competition. Vital and reaching life definitely is building your skills, is building up your competencies, and you are displaying that. For today's task, we try targeting a certain segment of the market and they were kids in the Montessori school ages one to four years and that was what you were supposed to cook a lunch for them. Both teams, may I know from Team Yellow, what did you serve the kids? Should we? Let, let's know what you serve the kids. Chef, please, we served them mango pancake and the chicken tenders with beetroot hummus. Come again? We served them mango pancakes, pancakes, mini pancakes, and chicken tenders with beetroot hummus. Beetroot hummus. Yes, please. And Team Green, what did you serve the kids? Um, we served them with a burger and a What burger? Chicken burger and a tropical fruit juice. 
and um, uh, potato, sorry, for potato fries and peanut butter sauce. Sorry, peanut butter spread. Spread. Yes, please. The, the tropical food juice is it proprietary or homemade? It's homemade. Right. Okay. Based on what you serve the kids, I made some observations mm. and I wish to share with you. Tim Green, you serve the fruit juice component and I thought that was good for kids. You mince the chicken and because this is chicken breast, the mincing reduced the cooking time and so made it juicy when cooked. The peanut and vegetable blend spread. Also, I think worked well because speaking to some of the kids, I could see they were enjoying it. Your lettuce shred in the beggar did not go well with the age group of kids because they don't like seeing vegetable raw like that or seeing it directly and picking them and eating them. So most of the kids in your group did not like, with the exception of one kid, who said she loved the vegetable, did not like the lettuce. Team Yellow. The general build of meal was not so good for kids the age group targeted. The beet hummus did not go well with most of the kids, with the exception of one who really enjoyed it. And I love that. So at least for that category of kids or kids that you know, you can produce that for them because he really enjoyed it and he ate it as someone who has eaten it before. I even asked him, has he eaten it before? He said he's eating something close to that, but not this particular one, but he's loving this. That's one child who made the comment. Next, the crust, the breadcrumbs you put on the chicken was brilliant an idea. It sealed in the moisture, and so the chicken breast didn't go too dry. But I noticed most of the kids in your group were peeling it off because they didn't like it, even though a few of them ate it. So that is a good concept. The crepes, you could attest to the fact that was not accepted well. The kids did not accept it so well. And you didn't give the kids of that age any beverage to wash down the food as they were eating. So these are a few of my candid observations. Melissa. Well, today you had a whole different demographic to speak to, the toughest audience in the world, mm. children. And one thing you're guaranteed to get from children is honesty. One thing to bear in mind when you're preparing food for children is that they like simplicity and they like familiarity. They like colors but they don't want to be confused by what they're seeing. So you have to go low on sophistication and high on simplicity and taste, not over seasoning, ensuring that all of the bases are covered, including something sweet to wash down the meal is, an, is a nice special uh, addition to your menu offering. You know, the truth comes from the mouth of babes, they say. So we'll see how the kids responded and how the judges consider things and we'll find out who deserves to remain in this competition. What more can I say? I think my fellow judges have said everything that needs to be said. Cooking for children is not like cooking for adults. I'm sure you've discovered that too. And color and texture and how much you taste is what will make it for whoever sells through. So, they're the best team, as I always say. Wait. So, putting all these comments together, the judges have deliberated, and we are now setting which group gets saved and which group gets to prepare to meet us in the boardroom. The team that gets sliced off is. Yellow, you've been sliced off 
from the competition. Team Green, you have been saved. Team Yellow, you have done pretty well, but your concept did not suit the target group suitably. It was not very good. And that is the reason why you are here. All the three of you should get ready to meet us in the boardroom. And there, we're going to make the decision as to which one of you gets sliced off the frightful and reaching life's competition. Thank you. A long while. See, I have some oil. I'm sure you're going to like it. Eh? Which oil have you bought? Our very own Frytol cooking oil. Uh -huh. Now they have it in sachet soup. It is a naturally mm. cholesterol free vegetable oil, very affordable mm. and fortified with vitamin A. Hey, Frytol sachet. Such a cutie. Not what? only that, it is hygienic, mm -hmm. safe, and trusted. Mm. Our very own Frytol oil. You better start selling fried or sachet if you still want me as a customer. Oh, customer, pa. Very soon, you will see me live and colored with fried or sachet. Eh? You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere, cra. Cook conveniently with fried or cooking oil sachet. Available in different sizes. Fried or cooking oil. Love your food, love your life. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Welcome back. Oh, did you see those cute little kids? You know, the way they were chewing the food, all in their pretty uniforms. Some of them, you can see they really enjoy the food. There was one of them called Pedro. He finished everything on his plate. On the other hand, some of the kids, hey, Nkolaibi, Nkolaiboni, yo, hey, landing these three into eviction. So we have, at the moment, Salome, Albert and George, three solid contestants, just because of these little kids, saying that the food wasn't nice. So that's why they are not eating it. Oh my God, you know what to do. Please keep voting to keep them in the competition. In the studio with us today is the fourth casualty of the Frytal and Rachel Lives competition. He's no other but Jonathan Gabriel Lamy. I'm sure you all remember him. He's the youngest contestant that ever appeared on the show. Well, before we meet him in the studio, let's just show you some highlights of his time in the house. Stay tuned. Studio, Jonathan. Thank you very much. Our youngest contestant. <laughs> what happened to you? You didn't have a business plan. <laughs> eh? Oh, uh, what no, happened? No, I had a business plan. Mm -hmm. I had a business plan. Just that I think it wasn't well um, brought up or something. Oh. I left out the financial aspect of the business plan. That is why. But I had a business plan, please. You are still very young, so don't <laughs> worry about it. I think you're a very talented gentleman. Thank you very much. And you go very, very far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, your time with us, was it fruitful? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very, very, very. Because it was you... my first culinary competition. It was okay. really, really good for me. Because okay. I had not been in competition before. Mm. So, I was like, this days, but... I had to go back, watch videos of what what doing competition so that I could catch up. Because those, those I'm competing with her, they have all experience. And say me, a student coming from a tertiary university, going to second year, and coming to compete with all experience, experience um, 
chefs, sous chefs, people who have their own business. But you did yeah, well because I... you were you were a team leader. Yes, yes. And how did your team do when you were the team leader? Mm. When I was saying that I had a team leader, mm. it wasn't easy, but <laughs> because you were like, this young boy, why should he be selected yeah. as a team leader? They were like, oh, yeah. but. <laughs> I you guess, did well. Yeah. Because your team came tops. Uh, yes, please. And at, at least doing the record. Mm. Yes, please. The youngest person to yeah. end up. Yes. Team. It's a record. It was excellent. Yes. I think you did very yeah. well. Yeah, me. Yes, <laughs> indeed. So tell me what your plans are. Oh, um, Before you tell me what your plans are, tell me who you are tipping to win this competition. Okay. I'm not tipping anybody, but. They okay. all have. The way you say that, you don't want anybody to win it. <laughs> no. Because you didn't win it. You don't want anybody to win it. Oh, no. Someone can win it. Yeah, they are, they are all capable. They you all have. So great. there's not one person that yes. you think is no, for this person. Because you would think that this person, because initially we're, we're all thinking Rafia to but see, mm -hmm. she has been sliced off. So yeah. they all have great potential. Yeah. So you can't yes. just say this person will be, this yeah. person will be that. No. It's just the lucky one could yes. get. That, that. Yeah, coming to think of it, I mean, we. Auditioned from all over the country, and you guys came out the top ten. So it's expected for everybody to, you know, to be the one. It could be any one of yeah. you, any one of you. I think anybody who came into this house is, is already a winner. Thank you. You have to be a winner to be part ten. Come on, ten yeah, out of all. the thousands that came to audition. So tell me, Jonathan, what are your plans for the near future? Okay. My plans. I, I want to expand my catering business. I really okay. want to expand it. And okay. I want to take it to the next level. Oh. Yeah. So I thought I could win this huge amount of money to help me expand my catering business and mm. see what I have next. What What are you doing in terms of catering, in catering. right now? Oh, yeah. I love um. I, I I love pastry works. Okay. Yeah. So right now I take others for birthday cakes. Wow. Yeah. I do birthday cakes. Some pastries, pie, and some savories too. Okay. Yeah. So you're looking to expand. Yes, I want to expand this business. Want to, want to but you're a expand. student as well. So how, when yeah. you get the time to do all these oh, orders? I really, I really get the time to do it. Okay. Yeah. Wow. When I when I get the order, my auntie is at home. She's also she's also a nurse, but she also did catering. So okay. I get to talk to her that this this and that, and she just do the mission when I come. I just put everything together because when she puts everything together, it won't be like. Yeah. yeah, so I put everything together, then I'm okay. And so you do all the decorating and yes, everything please. as well? Yes, yes. Okay, wow. <laughs> That's excellent. But anyway, you find that uh, then it's a good thing because Wilma don't want anybody to come into this competition and go with, you know, with their empty hands. So they've actually allocated an amount of 7,000 Ghana CDs. Wow. To be given to you, wow. you know. So I hope you can use that to expand yes. the business, and you, know, <laughs> since you are still in school, you know, yes. to help you out a bit as well. Yes, I'm so, so happy. Right. So it's win, 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 isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Really lost. I was, I wasn't expecting that. Yes. So yes. thanks to Roma, thanks to Frital for enriching the lives yeah. of all the contestants that came onto this show. Thank you so much for being, being with us Thank on the show today. Much. And we Thank wish you all the best. Thank you very much. So here you have it. This has been another exciting episode of Fright All and Rich Lives TV reality cooking show. The biggest one on screen. Up for 100,000 Ghana CDs. At the moment, we're down to our five final contestants. So up for eviction again this week is Albert, George, and Salome, who happen to be the team leader. So keep voting to keep them in the competition. And don't forget, the highest voters get a hamper, not to mention those who are able to answer the trivia question. So look out for it. So until we meet again next week, it's bye-bye for now. Frytal text and win promotions. Question. Frytal oil is fortified by A. Vitamin C. B. 
vitamin E, C, vitamin A. Text your answer to WhatsApp number 0248-133-033 to win a loaded New Year's hamper from Frytal. Can you cook? You got the skills, you got the look. Believe in yourself. Frytal Marichum Life. Frytal Marichum Life. Wanna be a star? 